Hi, Steve Callahan here at the SJCOE Fab Lab, and we're looking at data, specifically how we can use data tables when coding an app using App Lab. So data tables are really powerful. The idea is that you can store information in the cloud with your app and then access it later. So many of the apps that you use, even if it's something like Word or Google Docs, you're putting information into the cloud and retrieving it later. So let's look at an example app that I've written with App Lab that's recording drips. Now, we have the data table, like a spreadsheet. Uh, let's look at it right here. Now, I can get to the data tables by going to the data tab here and then looking at my table. Uh, mine is just named my table. Notice I have several pipes and data about how quickly they've been tripping. I can delete a record or I can add one. All right. Let's look at our code. Here's the code for the program. It's not particularly long. We calculate the drip rate based on the number of drips and the amount of time. We can draw in this chart using the function draw chart from records. It takes data from my data table, puts it in chart one, and the type of chart is pi. Notice name and drips are uh, the columns in my data table. As we continue through the program, I create a record in my table. In the name, I put my location name variable. That is coming from this element. And I put drip as the drip rate, which we calculate. I also am using the console and giving a little bit of information uh, for my own debugging as this program runs. All right, let's try it out. I'm going to run the program. I'm going to start counting. OK, it looks like pipe A has most of the dripping. The rate changes as I click. I guess I'm seeing a lot of drips. And I'm going to stop counting. All right. A still has the most. And here's the data on the others. I hope that's useful. There are lots of functions that deal with data tables inside of App Lab. Uh, there's create records, read records, update record, delete record. And as you go to these different functions on the editor, you'll notice you can get to examples right there. Have fun.